What's going on YouTube? Doug Smith here. Today I am doing just kind of a follow-up video. I wanted to talk about what happens in the middle of summer when all of a sudden you get some random weeds popping up and uh, you got to take care of them. That's what I'm doing today. And I'm basically just walking the lawn trying to find any spots and uh, you know I'm just gonna go around and just kind of do a little bit of that for little spots I have and then I walk back and forth just like I'm cutting the grass and uh, see what we can do um, get a bunch of random little spots of crab grass so I'm just kind of doing a little bit here and there uh, if you you know if you're doing your lawn and you start to see little things like this That's what you do hit it with a little bit of a little bit of that ortho So it's kind of a follow-up video for the ortho, but uh At this point thank God the side yard doesn't really have too many weeds It's got a lot of crabgrass, so I'll just kind of spray a little bit and uh, You know loop around the bend we got some of these little guys down here and that's not what we're looking for and I already sprayed a little bit Bow. but we'll spray a little bit more might as well if it kills it it kills it that's what I want it to do I don't want it to survive so we're gonna go around the bend here and uh, sometimes your neighbor has a yard of weeds so you got to kind of be over pretentious Bow. And we'll just get it down as much as we can. And, uh, you know, I'm a little kind of uh, finicky, I guess. I'm a little just not like professional with this. But truth be told, you want you want your spray to be, you don't want to spray weeds like this. You don't want to be like, because that's too concentrated. And you might actually kill some of the grass. But realistically, the further up you can get, if you can get like, like that, you can get right on top of your nozzle. And, uh, well, not on top of your nozzle, but if you can keep your nozzle far enough up, you notice how you almost don't really see where that water goes, where that spray goes. That's good. That's where it's basically atomizing. Um, if you have a high enough pressure, you don't want to soak, but you want the small, small, small particles of the uh, weed killer mixed with, uh, you know, the water accordingly, depending what weed killer you're, you're using. But you want it to be a fine mist. The smaller the bubble, the better. The, uh, the better the osmosis of the plant will take it in and that way you will have a better result with your weed killer. Now uh, if you're really above and beyond you might just go ahead and put a surfactant which uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a secret. If you go to Dollar Tree, right? The dollar place. And you just go ahead and uh, look at a soap. You know, I I haven't really seen a soap from a Dollar Tree that does harm because I got my yard looking like this and I've used plenty and plenty and plenty of dish soap just to uh, condition the soil really but the uh, the soap from a Dollar Tree as long as you're getting something like a a cheap 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 soap it just says soap, a surfactant, and maybe a perfume. Um, you know, the perfumes, I don't know that they really do any damage or not. But nonetheless, they make the water droplets smaller. A surfactant breaks the surface tension of the water. So if, uh, if you're ever out here trying to do your own weed control and you start to see 
I don't know, maybe some white flowers just randomly popping up in your yard. Similar to Yay right there. Now that personally I will go right. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with doing that, but if you're trying to control a large area to get the best results, you want to you don't want to you don't want to spray down, you want to spray up to allow the atomization of the weed control and what that does is uh, allows it to easily absorb right into the plant when you do that with water like if, if you missed if you missed water over a plant somehow it takes the water in a lot easier and so that's the whole goal here you just want a little bit a little bit not much because it really doesn't take a whole lot you just you know let it mist don't spray it directly you know the way i did the way i just showed you don't spray it necessarily all the way at the roots because a lot of times you know if if uh we'll say this is the plant if you spray it right at the roots which would be right here it hits the dirt and it spreads out and if it spreads out and it's too concentrated, you know, if you go right here and you just do that, that little white puddle might spread out, especially if it rains or you water or you have an irrigation, you know. And what could end up happening is uh, you wipe out some of your grass. So um, again, this video is kind of a follow up, just like a secondary weed control. Otherwise, I mean, everything's looking great, I think. Um, better than it used to. We've still got some spots. Again, this yard's going to be completely wiped out with glyphosate eventually. So um, when I do that, it's really not going to matter. I'm probably going to glyphosate the entire yard two or three times just to make sure. But as long as you're uh, trying to maintain, as long as you're trying to maintain, the most important thing is do not oversaturate and um, allow some time for it to actually soak in. Don't do this like if, if it's imminent rain coming. Don't do this if, uh, you know, it's 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock you have an irrigation system kick in. You know what I mean? You want to allow it to really have time to soak into the plant. And so uh, I'm going to leave you guys at that. If, um, if you're having some questions on, you know, what it is I got in this container here, I have a video that I'm going to go ahead and point you to. You might see an icon up in the top right corner of your screen recommending you to go to the ortho video. It's uh, one of the parts of my long hair series. I would highly recommend it. Uh, even though in that video I kind of mix multiple types of treatments, I had found uh, very favorable results. Now one of the things you can do even better is uh, go back to the first video in my lawn care series. Just called uh, Making My Crappy Yard Look Nice. Part 1. Um, it really isn't even called Part 1. It's just called Make My crappy lawn look nice now other than that just uh, subscribe leave comments in the uh, comment section below you know just um, leave me some feedback maybe I'm doing something wrong here I I don't think so I mean I will say again like I did in my very first video this grass is kind of looking a little shoddy I got about, <laughs> the way it looks, maybe 20, 30 different types of grass that sometimes looks green and sometimes looks yellow, I guess. Um, however, yeah, see it just turned green again. And now it's turning yellow again. And we'll look away and oh, it's turning green again, right? So camera, it's just totally the camera, but you can see the light and dark spots. You can see what's new, what's old. And, you know, crabgrass is going to do its own thing anyways. So, 
that's why I'm going to completely eliminate everything. Um, so at this point, I'm just trying to use the rest of this weed killer. I'm just going to spray it out. But definitely subscribe so you can see the follow-up where I renovate. I completely wipe everything out and uh, overseed. I top fill with some new dirt. Maybe a peat moss, maybe a combination of compost, perlite. Um, you know, just stay tuned. And uh, make sure if you subscribe, you hit the bell icon. So that way you can get notified of new videos. Other than that, if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. And we'll see you on the next video.